Ci sono tantissime storie sui Templari, ci sono libri, fumetti, film, serie tv. Secondo te che cosa li rende così affascinanti? Penso che siamo molto interessati in loro per varie ragioni. Penso che... I think the mythology surrounding them is, is really interesting and I think that, that mythology is rooted in the fact that in many ways the Templars are responsible for creating what is our modern uh, economic system and many of our different rules and there's this idea that the, the Templars have kind of sown a, a uh, their own line through the whole of history up until this point. Um, And I think that we're really interested in that idea, and especially of a kind of clandestine secret order that, that kind of permeates our society, at all the different, you know, the kind of Elkions of our society. Um, but I, I think the thing that really fascinates me about them is, is this idea of kind of absolute bravery and nobility and, and, uh, and a, a singular belief in one thing, which I think is very rare nowadays, and I think there's something incredibly romantic about, about that. Secondo te che cosa rende Nightfall una serie unica? Um, uh, <laughs> what makes Nightfall a, a unique show? I think, I think Nightfall... Uh, It, 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 it exists in the world of shows like um, Vikings and, uh, and Game of Thrones and those kind of like big historical epics. What I think is strong about Nightfall is that it's, and what's unique about it is that it's actually an incredibly uh, uh, emotional show. I think that from the outside you can look at the show and just see very big battles and, and a very masculine show, but actually it, It, it really tackles, and especially in season two, it really tackles uh, big issues of fatherhood and love and betrayal, and, and, and it's a very, very emotional show. My character in season two, he is the kind of the most machismo male, but his big arc in season two is about him stripping away his ego and learning to be a vulnerable man, which... Uh, in many ways it kind of t tackles toxic masculinity, which is something that uh, is a very interesting topic at the moment. Girando la serie, che cosa è stato più difficile da imparare per te? Usare la spada o cavalcare? Well, <coughs> I'd, um, I'd learned to uh, sword fight in drama school and I'd learned that I had kind of a, a prop propensity for killing people. I was, I was quite good at it. Um, so I, I turned up to the first day of boot camp Uh, for Nightfall being like, I got this, no problem. And I was absolutely awful. I was so bad. So I had to do a lot of, uh, a lot of work and a lot of learning. Um, but the horse riding, is, is the, it was the thing that was, I've never really done it before. Um, and they have a stables on set. So we would, we would ride any, any time I had off, if I had like half an hour, an hour, i would get to the stables and I'd go out into the forest and ride. And uh, my kind of learning curve in the riding was very, very steep. And to the point where in season two, um, they were like, okay, we're gonna, in episode three, we're gonna make you do this stunt. And the stunt is that there's a galloping horse and you're gonna run alongside it, grab onto the saddle, jump up, kick a guy off, land in the saddle, and then carry on riding. I was like, what? Are you serious? You, you want me to do this? And they were like, yep, you're going to do it. And, um, and I, learned, I learned to do it. I did, and, I, and I did it. I don't know how that happened, but hey, it's cool. So the riding, the riding was the one that was the scariest and the one that I've had to learn the most, I think. Come è stato per te lavorare con una leggenda come Mark Hamill? Uh, I've heard of Mark Hamill. Yeah, no, uh, it, was, it was amazing. So... <coughs> My younger brother, he's, um, he's in this second season of Nightfall 2. And he's, he's about, uh, I think he's six years, no, he's eight years younger than me. Um, and so when he was about eight years old, I went out and, and uh, hired the, the videos of Star Wars and kind of was like, right, sit down, I'm going to put this on, and this is, this is my gift to you, okay, Joe? You're going to really enjoy watching these movies. And he became obsessed. And so we would like watch Star Wars together. It was the way of us like bonding. 
And so when we were on, uh, on, on when we first started on Nightfall, we were in boot camp and Talos hadn't been cast yet. And I found out that Mark was gonna be playing Talos and just freaked out, right? But I was told I can't tell anybody. So immediately I ran to, to go and find my brother. Found my brother, I was like, listen, Joe, 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 Mark, Mark Hamill is gonna be playing Talos. My brother just freaks out, I'm like, listen, listen, you can't tell anybody, okay, dude? And he's like, okay, okay. And he turns around to everyone and goes, hey, everybody, <laughs> Mark Hamill's playing Talos. <laughs> yeah, nice one, thanks, Joe. Um, no, it, it, it's great, you know, and it was, it was, a, it was like a, a dream come true. It's difficult not to make lightsaber noises when you're, when you're working with them. God forgive us all.